Curse of Writing Success. What the hell did that say? Somebody tell me. But yeah, the whole Quagmire Vietnam thing. Not, yeah, that's not good. Is this the Miller Beer Meeting? It certainly is. Bill Phillips. Is this every creative director in the agency? It's only half of us. Jesus. So are you here to bring us up a notch, too? <laughs> Bam! Up a notch. <laughs> They're too big, man. He can't handle it this big. I thought their agency was big. That I had no idea. This is big. Tell us a little bit about this exciting new beverage. I really did. I thought their agency was big. You know, Don's agency. It seemed big to me. This stimulates some of our industry's finest imaginations. <laughs> I'm going to what describe... A business sphincter this motherfucker is. Some call it the heartland. He looks like an AI art of a human being, not an actual human being. Look at him. He has some college. He looks like one of those Lego minifigures, right? More. Wants a hammock. This is not Don's vibe. Dodge that he never uses. <laughs> he loves sports and he loves dogs because they don't talk. <laughs> Hardy, we hard, all hard, know hard. this man because there are millions of him, and he drinks beer. Not just any beer. Now he wants diet beer because he's a big fat ass. And what is his brand? <laughs> Don wants to go out there, man. The one his dad drank. The one that comes in the best bottle. It By the way, I love the Coca-Cola uh, advertising here. Product placement. Probably product integration, actually. is a better word for it. But how do you get him to open his mind? It's time for me to fly, boys. I'm out of here. In this case, less. It stinks. And that's trick. When we talk about a low-calorie beer, we immediately become <laughs> feminine. out of here, man. A note on the fridge to remind her Why are we still here? Diet. Can we go with Don, please? Thank you. Jesus. I have a little news for you. Oh, yeah, I fired that dumbass. Like some junior account man came in and started swinging her elbows. He didn't read the brief. See it from his side. He has a wife and three children. He's not going to work Fuck. for a girl. What's he going to say to a client? She's my boss? Yes. It happens all the time now. Peggy Olson was our copy chief. It's different with a bunch of writers fresh out of Columbia. Honestly, I doubt that's going to continue here anyway. I see. Really? Joan, I didn't come down here to upset you. I agree that the best way to keep the business is to keep your status on your accounts. Oh. And you'll certainly get the respect you desire. Now it's just you and me. Really? You don't have to do that, but I accept. <laughs> The first thing we have to do is pay this guy a visit. Who? Straight from Avon. We owe him an apology. Yeah. It must be good to get out of town, even if it's to Atlanta. Oh, he I wants to try to smash. That, I... I know a good job when I see one. He's going to try to smash. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. No, it's just that might be too much. He'll be in New York soon. Yeah, hey, I'm easy. I'm not expecting anything more than a good time. <laughs> I want to get to know you, of course. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my first act of benevolence, you can call Charles Butler on your own. We'll take him to lunch next week. Thank you. I don't like and this at all, man. No one comes between me and your business. I got a bad feeling about this. We all thought this was going to be sunshine and roses, man. What would you do around here? <laughs> I didn't catch what he said. I'm going to go back and get that. Um, we, I thought this was going to be all sunshines and roses, man. What the fuck? Of course, there's always a twist, man. There's always a knife coming for your back on this fucking show. Damn it. I can't lose those accounts. What would you do around here? Jesus Christ. Wow. In other words, that's it. That's all you get. There'll be no new accounts for your ass. Fucking A, man. Ah, oh, Jesus. Loretta! When I do my autopsy of this series, she's going to have a major chapter, believe me. I'm going to do a retrospective of this show. So we left. <laughs> Yes. No one thought to call me, I guess. Do you want something? <laughs> no. They left after lunch. I told them. Damn, I have wasted my goddamn time. She comes and goes as she chooses. Yeah, it sounds like her. And we can't get mad at her for being independent. Oh, uh, yes, I can, actually. You okay? I carried $100 worth of textbooks yesterday during registration. I don't know. Sums up. Maybe she'll die, too. Maybe you're getting old. <laughs> I'm younger That's than right, you. That's right, give me that neck massage. Always happy. I'm not shipping these to either, but still, you know, books. they're hot together. I'm glad they're at peace with each other, man. Bye.
The fuck you doing? That's not how you make coffee. She's got her cup on the fucking oven. Is she? You're out of your fucking mind. God damn, you're fucking idiot. Have you never made coffee before? What the fuck are you doing? Jesus. Fuck it, I guess, right? <laughs> she had the coffee cup on the fucking hot plate. <laughs> fuck it, I'm leaving. Fuck you doing, Don. Look, I know I told you not to complain, but that doesn't mean I don't want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, it does. It literally does. But you really don't. What happened? <sighs> Big place, and I asked the wrong person for yeah. help. I don't think I can get out of it. You don't like that job. You don't have to do it. I mean, it. she's rich, right? She can leave. You got enough, and you got me. He's rich, too. I still owe me over half a million dollars. I'm not walking away from oh. her. Okay. So this is a business problem. Now I can help. How? You're already helping. There's two ways I deal with disagreeable people. <laughs> One, you can call a lawyer, throw a bunch of paper. Right. Tie them up in court, work. cost them some money. Nobody wins. But it loosens the earth. What's the second? Kill him? You can call a guy. <laughs> a guy? <laughs> Like I said. Man gets stuck. Like I said. <clears throat> what does a guy do? Kicks his ass. Great guy, all they have to do is show up. You've really done that? You seem to like it, so I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> You're disturbed. <laughs> Get some pipe hitting motherfucker just hang out in her office. What's up? It'd be, it'd be some big ass motherfucker. Get some big ass motherfucker. We're talking about six foot eight, three hundred pounds, bald head, tattoos, fucking nose stud that's rusty, like a rusty piece of metal through the fucking nose and shit. Ain't nobody gonna bother her again. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? That's my minion. <laughs> Problem solved. That's what I assume he's saying. Anyway, I'm just workshopping it, right? <laughs> <laughs> not too slick in it. I don't know about you, but I am not ready to say goodbye to Not true of the folks at Higby's department. Oh, shit. To provide Jesus Christ, man. Y'all motherfuckers lied to me. You said the last episode was a couple episodes ago. I'm really tired, aren't I? In the wrong direction. Where are you going? Where the fuck is he going? We're seeing Wisconsin. Maybe some waitress. He doesn't see him in the season you. one, right? I love me. this back, man. God, I love this man. You like to play the stranger. Remember On the Road? I've never read that book. You know that. <laughs> in the rails. Whither goest thou, man? In thy shiny car in the night. Who would come for you? I know who would come for me in this situation, right? Who would come for you? I'm just curious. I love that she's here by herself. It just fucking, it's fucking great, man. This is such a weird and wonderful episode. It may be my favorite episode of the season so far. Who is this? It's Marsha. I thought I would try this before your phone's dead. <laughs> what do you want? On behalf of McCann Erickson, I want to welcome you to your new office. <laughs> they better have her fucking office. Well, I guess right now. Wonderful. And you work at a drafting table until they bring your things over Denied. to Denied. Yes. Thank you. No. Unacceptable. Hello? It's about to get jumped, ain't she? Is she going to be hallucinating now? Roger. What oh, the fuck are you doing? I have a heart condition, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that in five seasons. I told Caroline I wanted to pack my personal things, which I will eventually do as soon as I figure out why she thought my bar wasn't personal. Did I don't have this? All I found was lighter fluid. Oh, shit. I'm not there yet. Mine's gone. I'm not there yet. That's hilarious. I don't want to go. Listen, sweetheart, if you don't mind. No. I'm not running an errand. I have to go to McCann. Three days ago. They screwed up my office. <laughs> They're finally ready. I'm not running around. I'll do it for you. Would you drink vermouth? 
Yes, I'm afraid I would. <laughs> the hell is vermouth? I've heard of it, but I've never had it. I couldn't read that, man. Curse of writing sucks ass. What the hell did that say? Somebody tell me. Long in a minute. Oh, Mr. Hobart. Can I help you? You're sitting in his chair. You're obviously not expecting him. <laughs> well, Daphne, I don't know when he'll be in. Can I take a message? <laughs> I fucking love her so much. Tell him he missed Nabisco. A national cash register just left, so he might as well take the rest of the day. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> Is he on a bender, sweetheart? Oh, shit. But he went to take his daughter to school. I'm not concerned. You will be. He's got some explaining to do. Oh, shit. She is concerned. Look at her covering, man. That was a great job. I believed her. I fucking believed her. She is concerned. Well, you just ran out of gas? What the fuck, dude? Oh, I see. Say no more. <laughs> this is a wonderful fucking episode. It's so fucking weird and quirky. We are the hell drink. are they doing, man? You clearly... These two are just hanging out, talking... Drinking vermouth? Can made you wait. You can make them wait. I'm not enjoying this. I love how she de delivered that line. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> it's an octopus pleasuring a lady. Oh, shit. Jesus. It was Cooper's. It was in his office for Fuck it, hey, dude. Have it. He was into tentacle porn. They won't take me seriously. That's pretty serious. You know I need to make men feel Cooper like was into tentacle Don't porn. Let's not just rush past that, man. 